right, so we have some uh, newspaper in here with a little bit of wood pellet to be the fuel. And we're going to get the uh, smoker lit. Hopefully we don't have to use it for the inspection, but it's good to have available just in case. Sometimes it's hard to get started completely. So I'm just getting some air coming underneath. Help the flame keep going. Want to make sure the pellets get lit before we close it up. Looks good. So I'm just going to have it set over here by the hives. Okay. Start with the far hive, Lexington. this section back up. I suggest you get the smoker and put some down in there. We'll see how it goes. I prefer not using it if you don't have to. So we're going to start over on this side because they're probably not having any comb here yet since it's the most recent top bars that we put in. And then I can just have them set to the side. Yeah, so there's nothing here so I'm just going to set it over here so we have room to work. Oh, All right. so, so they are starting on this one here. You can see there's kind of like a, they just disconnected the train or a chain of them. That's how they get the wax going. So let's move that down. All right, these are kind of glued together a little bit. Yeah, they get some wax up in there and uh, the bars get stuck together a little bit. You have to use a little force to get them apart. Okay, so look down here, you can see the, the chain of the bees between the uh, Comb. They're connected by little wax threads that they're using to build the comb. And then down there you can see some. Uh, so we actually have nine, too. almost ten bars with some comb on them now. I think even last week we only had eight. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and take this out. Look at it. You can see it's pretty much. Oh, they do have some pollen in there. Do you, have, do you see the pollen on the other side? Uh, you can see the cells. Yeah, the other side is uh, a lot emptier. Okay. Well, there's no brood or eggs in that, obviously. There might be something on this one. This one's pretty full of bees. Let's keep an eye out for the queen, too. That thing's huge. I don't see any eggs. Again, this is pretty much all pollen. Here's you can uh -huh. see some pollen really well, right in here. That bee's right over this, right in there. Yeah, the dark yellow. Yeah. That's some on the right as well. Yeah, all this. There's yeah, a lot of pollen. Lots, lots here. of sections of pollen. On Very the top nice. Right there, you can see the larva. Actually, along the edge of the entire thing, there's larva. I don't see any eggs. Oh yeah, there's eggs down in the bottom right. There's some eggs. It's hard to see there in the very bottom right of the cells. It just looks like a little tiny fleck of rice. Yeah. Alright, and there's larvae, so we definitely 
I've had a queen in the last couple of days in this one. I Good. Don't see her on this group, but all that top uh, white comb—that's honey. Great. There's a lot more bees on this side, anyway. Be careful. It's very close to the bottom. Not as much honey on this side. It's a lot at the top right. Yeah, oh yeah that's true. It looks like there's a drone, a drone there. I don't see a queen. Okay. I just left that in from when we first installed the queen. It's kind of interesting that if you can see down in there, all the like, little wax sheddings. Yeah, I was uh, videotaping that before. Look at all those bees on that one. It's huge. And the comb is all almost to the bottom of the barrel there. All right, yeah, I definitely see a lot of eggs in this one. Yeah, that thing's pretty full. It, it looks like there may have been some bees that hatched. Yeah, there's holes on the other side all as the well. Holes in the brood comb. Mm -hmm. There's some on the other side as well. Can you put your head back a little bit? Yeah. So it looks like we are going to, we do have, that's a little ahead of time because we don't think we've even had the bees for a full 21 days. Or it's right at 21 days and... And there's the uh, drone. Yeah, the drone brood. And I think... Brood that's popping out. That's a good sign. It means there's lots of protein in the hive, in the colony. If they're building drone broods, so that's a very good sign. Everything looks really good. I'm just trying to see if we can spot the queen anywhere. She might be over Whoa. here. Whoa! That's alright. Please be more careful. See a drone. Right there. Is that a drone? Right there. That huge one. Right here, by my thumb. Up, up. There? Yes. Yeah, that's a drone, I think, because really big eyes. Yeah. Uh, Just like this one here. I didn't see that. They're huge. Yeah. A lot of drone brood on this side, too. But it's very good look. That's really good. We even got some wax on this side here. I'm just, just leave it, I'd say. It. Oh no. What? There's one here. It's hurt. That's fine. Oh. Don't like it. We take so much care of them. Oh. They just die eventually anyway. We got lots of new ones coming. Okay. That's the nice thing about videotaping your inspection. You don't have to remember everything. At the time. At the time. Oh my gosh, that thing's huge. Lots of hatched brood, comb. And uh, while our number of bars that they've been building on has increased, also the size on each bar has also increased. They're really expanding across the bar more than we saw it last week. Yeah. This one's got larva, eggs, brood. I'm just trying to see if we can spot the queen. It's really hard to spot her. Yeah, thousands of bees in here. You're looking for that one. You can see some pollen on the legs of this guy. Yeah. Yeah, they're over 50% across the bar now. They were only about a quarter of the way. Before. Uh, it looks like a, I think that's a drone, not a queen. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, a lot more hatched drone cell here. Yeah, you can see some of the bees also look smaller there at the bottom. They might be those newly hatched ones. Yep. I'm just trying to see if I can... Yeah, there's definitely eggs down here in the bottom right. Okay. How's the other side look? About the same, covered in bees. Let's try to spot the queen. Now I could flip this over to look at it, but since I have this yeah. extra area, yeah, it looks I'm like not they're risk clearing out the uh, hatched. There's, I mean, there's even larvae in one of these that have been hatched, so they're they hatched reusing even a couple it, days yeah. ago, about five days. You can see they're building comb against the edge of the barrel as well. Mm-hmm. 
We might come later on and just scrape that off at a different, a later inspection, but it's not that big of a deal right now. Some interesting colored pollen over here. It's like orange in the top right there. Yeah, it's really vibrant. A lot of drone brood and, or queen brood. It's regular brood cells here. Mm hmm. Lots of larvae here. Interesting, at the very bottom here, it's a good shot. You can um, see almost all the different stages of the larvae and the eggs down there at the bottom. Uh huh. So, another thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure you put the, uh, well, there's a ton of bees on this side. Put the comb back in the same way you pulled it out. So, I'll be putting it back in the same side, but I just want to quickly look at this side and see if I can see it, spot the queen. Uh, there's a lot of lot of larva. Almost every single one of these cells along the edge has an egg in it. They've been doing really well. They're very docile this this afternoon. They're also very quiet, which is another indicator that they're not disturbed too much by this inspection. It was in, did you hear that right as I pulled it out, they all kind of buzzed and then were quiet again. Alright, yeah, this one's got a lot of larva. Wow, this has lots of drone comb, look at that. It looks like some have already hatched on the left there. Yeah. It's interesting how much bigger that comb is, mm -hmm. the cells. You see the queen in there anywhere? Let's see here. The other side look. Looks good. A lot of the drone cells on this side too. Looks like they're just you, you see one that are just covering up. You can see the larva kind of uh -huh. peeking out. I see eggs all through here. See that? See if you can see the eggs in there. Okay. So the queen's definitely doing a lot of work. Just elusive, trying to spot her. This is our last top bar that has comb on it. The other top bar is just a divide or a kind of a spacer I put in right on the edge. You okay? Yeah. So I'm just filled with regular brood, some syrup or nectar at the top, lots of eggs along the side here. See some uh, bees with lots of pollen on their legs. Uh huh. And that's another drone of the queen. That looks very good. These guys are doing a great job. So you can see the edge there. There's no comb. It's just a, it's a top bar, but it doesn't have the edging underneath, so they're not building comb. Okay, so we'll put everything back together. Yeah, now. this will be the last difficult one to get together. Right, come on, guys. They didn't like that. No, this one's trying to sting me. Through the glove? Did yeah. it get it? Did it get you? No, his stinger got stuck. See? Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Oh no. So that guy's dead. You know what? We want to finish this up then and, and back off. Yeah, let's get this. Uh... Alright, so I'm just getting the hive put back together. These lids are pretty close to the same size as the hive, so I need to make sure that on both sides it's covering. It might rain today, so we gotta be especially careful. That's yeah, pretty close. Let's just put the brick back on it. Alright, so that's one hive inspection done.